What's going what's on going everybody? On, Welcome on. back to the channel. So you guys have been asking for a rage type beat tutorial in Ableton and today we have just that for you. So let's get right into it. One time like this, make it pop like this, make it pop like this, make it pop like this. One time like this. All right, so for this one, we're gonna be using a sample, but this is a sample that I actually found a while ago and kind of stashed it away for a rainy day when I was like fully prepared to use it because it's freaking dope. So this is the sample we're using. All right, so when I get lucky enough to have a sample with all the stems laid out, I like to do a basic layout before I get into the drums. So here's what the sections of this are gonna sound like really quick. Okay, so we're obviously starting with everything. And then after that chunk, it's gonna go just into the lead. And then the lead and the synth. And then in this section, it's gonna go into the bass. All right, and this is what we have for the last section here. All right, so now that we have the basic layout for how the melodies are gonna go, let's start setting up some of the drums on this. All right, so something that I did here that I do often is I usually just start with a two-step pattern, and as you can see, one of the velocities is lower, so I literally just make two notes, one with a high velocity, one with a little bit lower, and then just copy and paste that all the way. And then what I usually do a lot of the times is I'll turn off one note in random places throughout it, where it makes it feel like it's lagging a little bit and gives it a cool feel to it. So besides that, I did some basic rolls, nothing too crazy, a little triplet here at the beginning with the downward velocities and nothing too crazy on the hi-hats. All right, I'm pulling out the big boy 808. I can't show you guys this one yet, but it's gonna be in the new kit. This is a little glimpse of what it sounds like. All right, I followed up that 808 with the kick to make it punch on that initial hit. Alright guys, so we have the start of a beat down, but if you've been watching any of my beats lately or any of my tutorials lately, what you're going to notice is I like to do like a little switch up about 16 bars in. Nothing too major, I just like to switch up the vibe a little bit. So for this one, we're going to use that bass that we haven't used that, that actually was one of the stems of the melody. This is what it sounded like. So we're going to be using that instead of an 808 for this one. Now there was also some like dubstep growls that came with it as well. And I thought that was really cool and also I wanted to step it up a bit further. So what I did is I ended up getting an 808 and I actually made it play while the growl was playing. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I found the notes that the growl was playing here and I just played the 808 with it and literally it just goes whenever that hits. So listen to this now. And for the hi-hats, I used the same MIDI and I just switched it up, added a couple more rolls, made it a little more crazy, and then used some actual different notes for the hi-hat. So it's looking like this. Now, as you can see, we used a couple different notes. 
a little, a few more rolls than we're used to, but it's something like this now with everything. Last but not least, we're using a kick. Once again, we're using pretty much the same MIDI as the last kick, but we're using a different kick sample, one that sounds really good when it clips loud. So this is what that sounds like now. Anyways, guys, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, fam. Come on, go ahead. Join the fearless gang. We're fucking lit out here. We're changing the world one producer at a time. And besides that, guys, I'll be catching you all again in the next one. Peace out.